Welcome back to the LEC Misfits Go 2-0 here in week 6. And Razork, you were coming back from an 0-2 week and you knew that you were facing opponents below you in the standing. So tell me about the mindset going into this week. Uh, I mean, this week we actually had to win these two games to actually secure playoffs low-key. So the mindset was still like pretty tryhard. And also yesterday we played stage. And uh, I feel like we are a bit shaky still playing stage. So I think these wins are giving us like uh, more confidence to play in stage and looking forward to playoffs. It's funny because uh, VT was saying something similar about the stage effect. How do you explain this stage? I mean, this re difference in result when you play on stage and at home? Uh, well, I think right now we don't play the best when we are in stage. I mean, Including myself, I feel a bit uncomfortable, so I just need to get more used to and my whole team, we need to get more used to it and hopefully we can play better when we play in stage in playoffs. All right, okay, I have something to cheer you up. You got the player of the game here and I have a quick stat for you. I noticed that you got first blood during the last 10 games for Misfits, which is huge. So tell me about the impact you have in the early game for your laners and do you feel like you refined your play style to get there? Um, I mean, I think it's partly uh, the champs I'm playing. I mm -hmm. think uh, the champs I'm playing are mostly aggressive and you have to be proactive in the early game. So it's also part of my personality as a player. I like to be aggressive and impact the lanes a lot. So, I mean, I think that's why I'm having a lot of kill participations in the first blood. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think I'm a huge, uh, huge part of my team early game, but everyone's doing their job, right? And my job is to make sure that everything's going good in the early game and I'm actually trying my best to do so. Right. Well, tell me, I want to hear your insights on how to play jungle the best right now when you play as a team. Do you feel like it's more useful to impact your lanes, maybe maybe invade the other jungler? Yeah, how do you see things? I think it depends on the team, honestly, yeah. like, uh, and the, the jungler too. Like, uh, me personally, I like to invade, but there's some other junglers that likes to, like, be efficient, farm a lot, and, like, be strong, but not so too much. It just depends on the personality. Okay. All right. Well, another question for you more about the game. I want to talk about Nashor and Baron control for Misfits, because I noticed that it's something you maybe need to work on. Uh, it, did you address this issue, and how do you plan on tackling it? Yeah, I think... Uh, our NAS calls are not the greatest. Like I feel like uh, we have so much chaos in the in the like stressful moments. We don't uh, usually make the right decision, but I feel like we are slowly working on it and slowly yeah. get it, getting better at it. It is so. getting there. Yeah, indeed. Last question for you, Razork. You're so close to reaching playoffs, and I know that every player thinks about it and talks about it. It's also something we see on Misfit social media. How do you plan on keeping your, keeping your head cool to get these last wins you need? Well, I, I feel like uh, we are like not the greatest team in the LEC, but we are also not like really boosted. So <laughs> I feel like if like we keep practicing together and like doing what we're doing, we'll for sure make playoffs. Like uh, I think it's pretty hard to not make playoffs with the position that we are right now. And uh, when we secure playoffs, then everything will be easier because then we can uh, be we can work uh, towards the best of five, and uh, yeah, that's uh, how I have the mindset right now. Yeah, that's it. The things are looking good for me, Spitz. I agree with you. But for now, Razork, thank you so much for the interview and good luck.